Hi everybody, this is Alchemist 2, and I'm back again with another book review. Recently, I read Summerland by Ellen Hildebrand. Um, you can pick this up at basically any any place that sells books, including my place of employment. Um, it is 388 pages, and even though I can say I really enjoyed this book, don't get me wrong, I did. It, it was um, artfully written, um, wonderfully crafted, very vivid and visual. It's um, it's a rather depressing book. It, it kind of reminds me of The Casual Visitor in a way, just because of the way that it's written. It's written very realistically. All these different characters have their own um, problems in life, and they're all trying to heal during the summer in Nantucket from these problems, and each character has their different methods of um, <clears throat> coping, basically. Um, it's a really good book. I'll, I'll give it that. It's uh, it's a great read. I found it hard to put down, no matter how much I, I didn't want to continue. Because I thought, oh no, what's going to happen now? It's something bad. And it would be. And um, I thought, no, I have to keep reading. But it comes to a resolution at the end that's bittersweet. But it just it's uh, all encompassing of the uh, the human spirit and human human will and the ability to um, overcome past uh, disappointments and all that. And despite the uh, the tragedies, the travesties, the tribulations and troubles that um, encompass a person's existence, um, this is that kind of a book. And Nantucket itself, it, it comes across as a character, which I thought was really intriguing. Um, I've never been to Nantucket, but now I really want to go to Nantucket. Um, she has a, a book coming out in the future, and there's an excerpt after the uh, reading guide and the topics for discussion. It's, uh, it's called Beautiful Day, and it's going to come out in um, June. So that's not actually that's not too far away. So I'm I'm really hoping I could read that, and I'm sure I'll like it because I really, I really enjoyed this, despite the fact that it was rather sad and depressing in spots. But it's realistic, and it doesn't sugarcoat of uh, things like alcoholism. One of the one of the characters has a problem with alcoholism. I mean, a young character, a teenager named Demeter, um, and they discuss teen pregnancy and uh, suicide, actually it wasn't really suicide, but it was a car wreck, uh, Penny Alistair, of, she's uh, the darling of Nantucket, and when she's killed in that car wreck, uh, the whole community comes together and they mourn for her, and it also expresses the, the, the ups and downs of living in a small town, which you know, I can relate to because I've uh, been living in a small town since I was a little girl. And yes, everybody's your neighbor. Everybody cares for you, but everybody knows everybody else's business. So it's um, um, a compilation of the good, the bad, and, and the ugly all at once. But I think all small towns can relate to this, and uh, that's how they operate as a society, but uh, despite that, despite the fact that rumors spread like wildfire, everybody comes together and uh, they they heal cooperatively, and I thought that was just so beautiful, and we can see that even in communities far away, and just Americans in general were, were that way, and there's a um, story about a, another character, originally she comes from Perth, and uh, it kind of reminded me of my ex a lot, um, and it's you know it's very truthful about Australians and of themselves. They're very warm, very friendly, and wonderful people. I'm hoping one day I can actually go there and um, visit, even though I I don't know if he would uh, appreciate a visit from me or not. I'm, I mean, I'm hoping that we're still friends. I mean, I I hardly hear from him anymore, and uh, I I don't want to cry about it, but um, I. I hate being the the dumper. 
Yes, I know. I I <laughs> I hurt him, and I didn't really mean to. And it was a long distance relationship, and uh, it wasn't going to work out. But anyway, I just I hope that he and I are still friends despite all that. And um, I would give him this book because it's very accurate about Australia and how they how they see life and just how um, marvelous they are as, as uh, human beings and how tough they are and I, I really respect the Aussies and I'm just hopeful that I can go there and <laughs> have a chance of meeting him in person even though I don't know if I would be completely welcome or not but anyway it would be very awkward to give him that because I don't know it's just hard to say it's just relationships are complicated it's needless to say and sorry I didn't mean to cry that's what this book is about as well and uh, the whole idea of summer summer itself is uh, encompassed I, mean, I, I can say it's it becomes incarnate within Nantucket itself uh, when Nantucket is actually speaking um, you know like a Greek chorus character it's it's just uh, really <laughs> creative and innovative and I thought hmm I, I think this has been done before but I had never really seen it in a a book recently, so I really have to give kudos to Hildebrand and, and the way that she writes, and I I find her her style very approachable and realistic and um, very readable and very entertaining. So I give Summerland two thumbs up and five stars.